Hello. Um, okay. This is just a very quick, short intro because I am very, very late in posting my ATH Aaron Terrence Hughes Black Friday haul perfume that I bought last year in is it the end of November? Well, Black Friday. So it was end of November and then I got it about three weeks or so later. So it was mid-December. But then a whole bunch of stuff happened. It was December. It was a crazy time of the year and yada, yada, health stuff, work stuff, etc. And I just kind of never got around to posting it. And I never really posted any videos for quite a long time. And I've only just started uploading videos again and I'm hoping I'll do it more consistently. So here is my very belated Aaron Terrence Hughes haul which may or may not even be relevant because he's closed international shipping again and he's no longer shipping internationally to anywhere I think other than the UK, it's it's no international shipping worldwide. But I think if you check his social media, you will see that he's got plans to open a store in the US or start production in the US or something like that and some other things. So he's got all that information on his YouTube channel if you're interested and want to find out more about it. But Let's get on with the very belated haul. And this was filmed in the middle of December. Hello, wonderful people. Oh, I should. Okay, that's better. Um, getting started. Uh, haul. Unboxing. Fragrance. <laughs> this is my brain not working. Um very excited because I placed an order with um, a fairly highly regarded niche perfume brand called Aaron Terran Hughes, which was recommended by one of my new fragrance buddies that I was chatting with in a fragrance group. And he recommended Aaron Terran Hughes as a new niche perfume brand out of the UK. I didn't know anything about it, but I was kind of like, I wanted to get some perfumes during the Black Friday sale, but I didn't want to just get everything, anything that was run off the mill. And I wanted some fairly unique things because my tastes have changed over time. And, and I'm, I'm sort of, you know, rather than all the kind of mass market designer brands that you can find in most department stores and chemists and things. I've been enjoying the more like, I guess niche is the term, but unique scents that are coming out. Um, I do want to explore some of the Arabian scents and the Middle Eastern scents. Um, it's a whole thing right now, which I find hilarious because, um, you know, when when I was living in Egypt 20 something years ago, they were like a dollar a bottle. <laughs> but I'll save that story for another day. So anyway, Black Friday, Aaron Terrence Hughes, which apparently have never had international shipping. So they're hard to find and hard to get and rare, um, had international shipping, which they opened up um, for like three days. And you had to buy a certain amount you still had to pay for shipping but they were shipping internationally and so and if you go into their website now everything's sold out and i don't even know if it's really sold out or whether they've just you know shut sales down i don't know but anyway my box has arrived it came in a giant box that was double the size it was very well packed um and it got stuck in germany for, because there was a blizzard it should have arrived like five days ago it didn't it arrived this morning and i am so stinking excited so anyway i am unboxing this 
I have no idea what these smell like. I picked ones where the notes I like the sound of. And I also only bought the 10 ml bottles because I was taking a chance on these. And I'm finding that with with the number of fragrances that I own and that, that I have, and, and I'm not an over sprayer. You know, there are people who do like 10, 15, 20 sprays. And like there was this, I saw this <clears throat> post in a group and this guy said, oh, um, I've only used this perfume twice and there's 28 out of 30 mils left, which basically means he's sprayed it twice, but the both times he's sprayed it, he's sprayed an entire mill of perfume on himself or herself um to like like wow that's that's a lot of perfume because like one of these little vials is two mils and with the way i wear my perfume and the way i use my perfume that'll last me a week if i used it every day um but he went through this in like twice <laughs> so wow uh, so I figured, yeah, 10 mils is plenty for me. And, and you know, I, I don't need a lot of, like, large 50 ml bottles. And I didn't want to spend that kind of money on something that I never tried before. And this gave me the opportunity to get more and try more. So, paper, packing slip, lots of bottles. Um... Lots and lots of bottles. I'm gonna this is I'm gonna put that off to the side and cute. They're little. Um okay, this one is called hard candy. Uh, um I got the ones that seemed like more popular that people were talking about. So this is hard candy. I don't can you see? Hard candy. There's some reflection on the plastic, so I should, I should remove the plastic since I am going to use these. I, I'm weird about opening new things. Um, like I'm, I'm bad at it, as in like I like to keep it as pristine as possible, and I like to store all my perfumes in their original boxes. I, I don't actually throw the boxes away. All my perfumes, if you look at my perfume shelf, um, actually are in their original boxes and they stay protected like that okay is that better hard candy it smells very spicy and the bottle looks like that so that's 10 mils and i should i should talk about um the notes should i talk about the notes i'll have to i don't have i don't have my iPad here. Hang on. Don't look. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. No, I'm not. Because <laughs> I should have thought this through. I was gonna say, I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna get up and grab my iPad so I can look up the notes, but I can't because I'm not wearing pants. Sorry. <laughs> you don't want to see me in, without pants on. <laughs> so, the um, glamorous life of a person recording YouTube videos. I'm not wearing pants. <laughs> Oops. I'll make another video and talk about them. So we'll just do like an unboxing. And you can see what I bought. Um, this one is called... Uh, I can't say that word out loud or I could get in trouble. So I'm just going to show you. But it's an S word and it's kind of rude. And... Oh, come on. Open. And... Um, and anyway, it's a rude word, elixir. So it turns out that I'm also bad with plastic in terms of my opening stuff. This table is going to be such a mess, but so that's it. That's the rude word. I hope you can read it. It's S-L-U whatever, elixir. It's kind of hard to smell from here. Oh, it's it's it smells a little sweet. 
it smells a little sweet and gourmandy gourmand so i will th this is hard candy that's this one's very popular it gets oh this one's a little bit spicy this is just from that little bit of the cap so i i can't say that it's particularly accurate raw cherry okay I'm assuming raw cherry means that I got this one because it's got cherry in it and I love anything cherry. So I can say raw cherry. That's not going to get me into trouble. And I've dropped the cap. The bottle looks like that. Yes. There's like oud. Like it smells a little bit smoky, but I can smell a little bit of cherry, so yes, I need to pick up the lid. I'll do that later. So that's that. There's a lot of paper. There's a lot of plastic. They were averaging, in case you're wondering, holy cow, Deanna, you bought a lot. Um, <laughs> They're, they were averaging around about 20 something dollars a bottle after the sale because it was a pretty big sale. Um, and these are only the 10 mil bottles, so. And, and I, I felt comfortable getting them and doing a blind buy because I was told that I could sell decants and there would be people interested in buying decants. And it's true, there are. Um, I'm constantly seeing people in the fragrance group asking for decants of these perfumes. And um, and I, I also got told that if there were any that I didn't like, I could sell them for a pretty good price. So anyway, this was Hard Candy Elixir. So I guess it's kind of like similar to Hard Candy, but different. Bottle. They all look the same. The bottles are the same, and it looks like. Oh, it 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 it, it is tooled. Okay, so I thought it was a sticker, but no, it's actually tooled in and embossed into the bottle, and it's it's a um or just a really cool sticker. Okay, a bit sweet, less spicy, not smelling a lot because I haven't sprayed it. Um, but. Yes, nice. Well, with a name like candy, uh, with, with candy in it, I'm assuming sweetness. Supernova. Okay. Supernova gets asked about a lot in the group. So I bought this mostly because other people want it. And so I was willing to try it and then just sell off a whole bunch of decants. So, Supernova. Ooh. Spicy. Fresh. Slightly woody. And again, I don't know what the notes are, so, you know. It would be better if I did. And I'll have my iPad with me the next time I do this. Okay. Another one. <clears throat> Paper, paper, paper. Ah, <laughs> it's that word I can't say again, but this is the regular, regular version, the non elixir version. I did read the notes when I was buying them and I did pick the ones where I like the notes. So it, it's, it's that naughty s word yeah, again sweet candy like sweet vanilla that's all i'm smelling at the moment i i won't know until i spray it so sorry Getting through my, getting, getting stuff out of my. Oh, I got a, I got a little, I got a little. 
Oh, I got an email from the guy, I guess. People from Aaron Terrence Hughes. And they said that this particular perfume, they didn't have the box. Because, you know, they come in that little cute box. So would it be okay if they just sent it in a mailer? And I said, sure. Just send it in a mailer. And when you have when you have the box back in stock, um, I know quite a few companies are actually having like issues with packaging supply and things like that, especially the boxes. I don't know why, but just supply issues in, in general. Um, but, oh, it's a, uh, huh, I didn't realize it got a bigger bottle. This is the 30 mil bottle. I did not know that. I thought it was only 10 mils. But it's, it's K, hum, hum, T. And uh, you can read it there. It's K, mm, yeah. It's rude. It's usually spelled with a C. Don't repeat it on YouTube. It'll get us all into trouble. I can't smell a thing, so. But, wow, it's it's a big bottle. So, th this is, that's the 10 mil. That's the, so it's kind of a big brother. And I don't mind, okay, these bottles are great because the light doesn't go through it, which means they're protected from the light. And we all know that, you know, you don't want to put perfume in direct light or heat because it goes off. However, it's really hard to tell how much is left in it when, when it's like that. What? Oh, okay. So these are all, well, it was a good thing they were on sale because these, these are all the big bottles. I should show you what I'm looking at because I'm like winging an eye over them here and and so I guess it's like some kind of a, I oh know that's not it, some kind of a special range. That was the same one. I was going to maybe sell that extra one. Um, Addicted and Fake Noir. And it says Made in England. And you don't need to look at the bottles again, do you? I mean, they're all the same. They all look the same. I can't tell you what they smell like because I haven't got the notes in front of me. I haven't sprayed them. Addicted. I will spray one and like wear one at the end of it. And But I have to decide which one to wear. Oh, this one smells gourmandy, Swedish. So that's a possibility. And fake noir. I do like that font. It's a hard to read font. Um, we don't use fonts like that in in my day job because readability is very important. Um, oh, oh, oh! This is a little bit floral. It could have jasmine in it. It might be why I bought it because jasmine is one of my favorite like floral scents and it smells like it could have jasmine in it. But yes, okay. I could quite possibly wear this one for the day. So that's it. That's my rather ginormous... Oh wait, what is this? Oh, yes, yes, yes. I, <laughs> I, <laughs> I have to. I can't leave this one out. I <laughs> dropped. Now I need to find. Oh, here it is. Sorry. Me being disorganized. Oh, and I didn't need it after all. Um, this one's called Daddy. I don't know what the the scent is. I don't remember, but I read it and I thought I really I like the notes, but I love the name. Okay, I love the name, Daddy. <laughs> Any of you read?
read romance at all or if you work in in, in romance the romance part of the publishing industry which is where I work and there's this whole thing about daddy romances and okay it's a whole thing it's a it's a whole trope and I, I quite enjoy them but anyway so I saw this and I thought I really really need that need you know not want need it <laughs> so this is like I will <laughs> this is what I'm gonna wear today or try and I can't smell a thing sorry da 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 I'm gonna spray it um It's a little spicy. It's a little sweet. It's... Oh, look, it's going... I'm going to be so bad at, at describing this. So, the short answer is... Like, the short impression is I like it. I can't tell you what notes there are in it because I don't know. But... I can list them in the description. Okay, I'll do that. I'll list them in the description because you know me, I don't like do much with my videos um, because I'm lazy like that. But it's a little bit spicy. It's a little bit sweet. It's a little bit fresh. But it doesn't smell like something I've smelled like with every other fragrance it's definitely leaning more unisex masculine so it would definitely be something that I think a guy could wear but I like fragrances like this I, I like you know sort of more unisex leaning masculine or unisex leaning feminine scents as opposed to a really feminine scent or, and, and I don't like the really masculine scents that are very woody and oud heavy and things like that. I don't smell any oud in this. Oh, I, I do like it. I do like it. I really need to, I really need to be able to tell you what, what, what do you call that? What notes are in here? Hang on. No, yes, no. Do I want to do this? Because I don't have pants on. Yes, I will. I'll, I'm going to pause the video and I'll start it again. Hello, I am back. And, and why didn't I do this earlier? Like, just pause the video and go get my iPad. Um, but, okay, I know why. It's because then I have to stitch the videos together and it's kind of a faff. And... I don't like the faff of stitching the videos together because, yes, lazy. I do a lot of video editing and audio editing for my day job. And if I'm going to, I do these for fun. So doing these for fun, I just don't want to put, you know, 10 hours into editing a video. Um, okay. Find the website. Yes, there we go. I'm just looking. I'm on Fragrantica. Oh, wow. It's really starting to bloom. And it's... I only... You saw that. I only did one spray. And it's strong. And I can smell myself. Which is really unusual. Because with a lot of perfumes... It's not so much I go nose blind. But they, they tend to be not very strong. And I don't smell... And I don't spray a lot. So... Um, I tend not to smell myself after a while. It didn't pop up right away, so I've got to... Here we go. And there is Oud in it. That's it. Aaron Terran Hughes, Daddy. So... The main accords. Let's see if I can read this backwards. Vanilla, fruity, fresh, spicy, powdery, fresh. 
I said fresh spicy. Yes, fresh spicy. Sweet, green, aromatic, oud and citrus. So it does have a little bit of oud in it. But I don't smell a lot of it, which is good because I don't like it if it's very woody. It, it's it's weird, isn't it? It's got so many accords and it all blends together really nicely to make a scent. And that's something I find fascinating and that I love about like perfume is like the skill and the talent in a person's nose to be able to blend a scent to to create something that's balanced and smells beautiful and it's not too much of one thing or not too much of the other and and, and balance to me is is, is very important it, it's kind of like cooking which i'm really into and i do a lot of cooking and blending flavors and things like that and and you know you want a certain amount of tart a certain amount of sweet a certain amount of spicy it, it, the principles are the same but you know with a different thing and, and the creativity in, in that is just amazing okay what does skin smell like because that's one of the notes in here but okay here we go um it's it's got some fruity top notes and then it's got some you know spicy sweet mid notes and then the base notes again are sweet spicy woody fresh okay so amber and bergamot to start and yes i can smell that fresh slightly fruity spicy scent i can definitely smell the vanilla um i can smell the spice and i can smell the the tonka bean and the oh come on the tonka bean and the nutmeg that, that's where a lot of that spice is coming from um and then in the base, which will develop, would be the vanilla. See, skin. I don't know what skin smells like. Like, I can smell myself, but I can't smell anything. I, I'm not wearing. I'm not wearing anything on my skin, and it's I'm freshly showered skin smell. Which doesn't smell like anything to me. Um, then there's oud, patchouli sandalwood benzoin and ambergris i really need to study up on benzoin and ambergris a, a little bit more because i don't actually know what they smell like as raw scents so i need to watch some videos or read up on what they like they're supposed to smell like um but the way it is all in all yeah, I really like it. It's the kind of scent that at the moment I'm very, very attracted to and that I'm leaning towards. Um, you know, I've had a few people ask me, oh, what scents do you like? And I'm kind of like, well, I've liked a lot of things in the past and I've sold off a bunch of stuff recently because I'm no longer into them and I don't like them anymore and my tastes have changed. But I'm very into spicy gourmand is probably the best way to describe what i like right now so your boozy sense um i want to explore amber a bit more uh spicy sense so nutmeg cinnamon that kind of thing i don't like the very herbaceous sense i don't like the overly woody sense so like vetiver for example it's very woody it gives me a headache i don't like it um a little bit of oud i like so you know that's kind of where i am at the moment so all that new stuff which is like the cafe oud from kayali that's new the vanilla oud from kayali that's new i like those um and and they're like spicy gourmand sweet and spicy that kind of thing and i've completely digressed um <laughs> And I should go because all up, this is going to be like 30, 40 minutes long. But yes, so um, really like that. If there's anything in particular you really want me to try, like, you know, because I can only try so many scents on screen while recording. Let me know in the comments below and, and I'll do that with my next video um, and go more in depth. And talk about the notes and things like that 
even though I am absolutely no, no expert. And I don't think I've got enough of a vocabulary at the moment to be able to describe the scents as well as I would like to. I, I'm a lot better with wine um, because my husband and I have been in the wine industry for a long time. And, you know, Steve's written a book about wine and wine appreciation and drinking wine. So I, I know about the mechanics and I have the vocabulary to describe wine a lot better. I've been cooking and uh, chefing for like 15 or more years. So I'm very familiar with flavors and tastes and spices and things like that. Um, and and I'm, I'm only now taking that knowledge from the sensorial experience of drinking wine and having a wine vocabulary and eating food and having a food vocabulary and translating that into a fragrance vocabulary so it, this is very much a new and learning thing for me but yeah so thank you for hanging in here for yet another exceedingly long video um if you if you've made it to the end tell me um i don't know a lot of people what they do is, is leave an emoji of some sort in, in in the comments but you know i have i don't even think i even have 20 subscribers so that's not gonna happen <laughs> um but yes thank you um i will chat with you later and i will come back with more on this on these perfumes because on that one spray i'm like really liking it bye bye